Hi girls, so what I want to do is I want to help you with your next task. So on the screen now you're going to see a slide and it's the slide that you've just used to create your fish drawing and your mood board. What we want you to do now is to create a collage in the style of Claire Young's. You can do this in a number of ways. So what I would like you to do is first create some really really interesting backgrounds and textures. You can do this by using gel pens and paints and ink if you have it or even if you've only just got a pencil use that to do some really interesting mark making like you can see over here on the side. Do it on lots of different pieces of paper because you're going to need to cut these out and create a collage. If you want to you can use this link here and it gives you some really, really interesting ideas on how you might want to create some textures using the same techniques that the artist Claire Youngs has done. As you can see here, she's just used some basic drawings with lines and pastel, creating grid effects, creating really interesting resists, using cut up bits of cardboard. Here she's used the side of crayons. You can create some really lovely textures and you can scratch into these with your pencil or even a pair of scissors, okay? Once you've done that, and even if you can't do it in colour, you can do it in black and white, we then would like you to create your, um, your image. Now this can be a crab, a lobster, like this one here. You can choose one of these designs or you can trace around your fish drawing. You can use baking sheets or tracing paper if you have it at home, or even just hold it up to a window and you'll be able to see from the light coming through. You can enlarge this if you want as well, but just drawing freehand is entirely up to you. When you've done that, we would like you to watch this video here, okay? All you need to do is click on this link and it will send you to the YouTube video. I'm not going to do it for you now because I would like you to watch that in your own time. Use those steps that she has shown you in that video and create your own sea animal collage. So, some quick questions. What paper should you use? You can use a sketchbook or loose paper or newspaper, magazines. Remember, you're going to take a photo of the finished piece and upload it to your digital sketchbook and then upload your digital sketchbook to the task assignment on Google Classroom. If you don't have paint or colour pencils, that's fine. You can just do it in black and white. You don't have to use colour, but remember lots and patterns of detail and detail are key here. Make it look really interesting, just like Claire Young's work. If you don't have any glue to stick it down, again, just use tape or blue tack, or even just arrange your pieces on a page and then take a photo. If you don't have any scissors at home, then don't worry. You can use your hands to tear along the edges of where you've drawn out. It will give a nice quality, it will be slightly different to when you were using scissors, but that's fine, both will be just as good. Finally, we want you to just have fun with this, think of all the really interesting colour combinations, like you could go with um, blues or greens to go with the sea, or you could go with hot colours like the the yellows and the oranges and make the patterns really really stand out. Think about how you might use different textures to show the scales or the bumps on different types of animals. Have fun, enjoy this project and we will speak to you soon. Bye!